Hey guys, welcome to this Godot tutorial on infinite scrolling backgrounds. So today I'm going to be building a project from scratch, uh, which I'll show you in a minute and how we can create infinite scrolling backgrounds in Godot engine, uh, which you can then use in your side scroller games, platformer games, etc. to have infinite scrolling backgrounds. And maybe you can even expand this to have parallax background effects. I am going to be doing a Godot tutorial on parallax backgrounds as well, just to um, make it a bit more uh, well interesting for you to to use in your games. But for now, this is just a basic tutorial on how to create an infinite scrolling background in Godot. So just to show you what we're going to be building is uh, if I hit play here. Uh, I've just created a basic uh, background in Inkscape, and uh, we've got a scroll speed and our background is now scrolling endlessly and infinitely. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to start off with a fresh project uh, for us to begin with, just to create our background. So first thing we need to do uh, just to organize our project is to create a 2D scene root node, which I'm going to rename to game. And then after that we want to create a texture rect. So I'm going to add a child node called texture rect. I've already uh, used it before, so I'm going to bring it in. And then I've got my background here, which I brought in from Inkscape, and I'm simply going to drop it into the texture slot on our texture rect node. So you'll see it's a little bit big, so I'm going to just resize this down to fit our viewport. Uh, bring it in like this. Uh, there we go. And then the very next thing we want to do is we want to create a shader. So I use shaders for infinite scrolling backgrounds because I like to utilize the GPU instead of uh, other components of the PC which is going to be playing the game or the mobile device. So uh, I'm not sure, I haven't done the research on mobile devices, especially on iPhones, if this is actually going to work. I don't know if anyone has maybe tested this and can maybe just verify uh, in the comments below if this actually uh, will work on an iPhone or not, or iOS. But anyway, let's uh, move on to the shader portion of this. So next what we'll do is uh, with our texture rect selected, I'm going to head over to material on the right, I'm going to then create a new shader material and then I'm going to click on the material portion. So now what do we want to do is we want to just create a, a shader script. So this empty slot, I'm going to go to new shader. So you click on it again to open up this editor, which is going to have your shader scripting or shader language, which we're going to use for this repeating background. So what we use is a shader type called canvas item. So usually we use canvas items uh, for 2D effects or shader effects. Um, from the documentation that I've read, is it's also the, the suggested shader type for 2D. So the next thing you want to do is create a uniform float scroll speed, which is going to allow us to uh, just control the speed which our background is going to scroll at and then we can use this to manipulate it externally with a script which I'll show you later on and then finally we're going to implement a fragment method in our shader which is going to manipulate basically every pixel uh, for the material it's what fragments do we manipulate uh, every single pixel in the material so what we'll do is we first just going to get our UVs. So we're going to create a vector two, and we're going to store our shifted UV with UV in this variable. Then the next thing we want to do is we want to offset it on the x axis. So we'll use a time function as well as a scroll speed to control how much we're shifting on the x axis. So I'm going to use my shifted UV. And I'm going to add time times the scroll speed on the x axis to shift our UVs on the x axis to make our background scroll. 
So the next thing we need to do is just to apply it to our color. So Vic4, and I'm just gonna call this call, and we need to call texture to get our texture of our material. And then we need to pass in our shifted UV, and then assign it back to our color space and that should do that portion i'm going to save this as game.tsen just to have it saved and then i'm going to play this to just see how it looks so far just to also select the main game.tsen scene so you can see it fits into the screen but it's not scrolling at this point so what we need to do is we just need to make sure that our stretch mode is uh, for one not scale on expand we need to make it tile so this will allow our background to be tiled as it scrolls and become seamless so the next thing we need to do here is to just uh, activate our scrolling by having a scroll speed so for that we're going to just create a basic uh, gd script so a new script and let's call this scrolling background and create that and then it's very simply just going to set our parameter for our material so i'm just going to get rid of all these strange comments over here and then i'm going to just add this line of code on the ready function you can if you want to make this more dynamic um, add this on your your process uh, method but we're just going to be setting this one time so set shader param scroll speed and we're going to be setting it to a variable called scroll speed which i will declare in a second and uh, i'm going to just declare it over here export float uh, export so that we can actually see it in our uh, godot engine inspector and I'm just going to give it a default value of 0.4 for the scroll speed. So then back into Texture Rect, we need to assign our script. So over here, we'll just load our script up and we're going to use scrolling background. All right, let's hit play. And as you can see, we've got a scrolling background. We also have the facility to change scroll speed. Uh, let's make it uh, 0 0.6 to make it scroll a lot faster. And there we go. So th that's how we would create a scrolling background using shaders. I know some other people are teaching uh, ways to do scrolling backgrounds or infinite scrolling backgrounds in Godot uh, using uh, scripting, which basically shifts the background uh, forward in space uh, on the x-axis as the camera or the player moves towards it uh, I've found that uh, this is a better method for me because it's uh, quite simple I can just apply the shader and then control it via a script instead of having a complicated GD script which is going to move my background forward each time and actually this creates uh, a bit more uh, how can I say a bit of um, uh, backlog because we've got uh, three backgrounds or four backgrounds in memory at the same time where this is actually just manipulating the same uh, texture the same background but just shifting its uh, offset in memory and uh, that just makes it a little bit more efficient and also the shaders work more on the gpu so that makes a difference but if uh, someone can just let me know in the comments if uh, this works on mobile and um, maybe I can do an updated video on that. And uh, guys, that's basically the end of this tutorial. That's how to make an infinite scrolling background in Godot. If you like this video, uh, please like, subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell because I'm going to be bringing out a lot more tutorial videos uh, for Godot. and. I'm also going to start a devlog series where I'm going to be playing around with uh, game concepts and all those sorts of things. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.